The discovery of toxic algal blooms in Queensland waterways has captured the attention of the international science world. The results of a three-year research project which has uncovered evidence that blue-green algae is spreading to the Murray-Darling system will be presented at a conference next month. Researchers need sharp eyes to make sense of this murky matter. Laurel Fabro from Central Queensland University has been analysing untreated water from the vast Fitzroy River catchment. Samples were collected from waterways between Rockhampton and Mackay, including large rural and mining areas. The research discovered several strains of harmful blue-green algae toxins. There are far more toxin-producing algae than we first expected out there. Um, it's meant that for cattle producers and the like, we're increasing surveillance in different areas. The toxic algae are also appearing in New South Wales rivers, including parts of the Murray-Darling Basin. So the research has been considered by regulatory organisations that set Australia's drinking water guidelines. And the findings will be used by international experts. What we do is compare what our algae from Australia look like in relation to ones from, say, Brazil or Canada or Europe or Africa. Thinking globally, acting locally is the key. Users of raw water uh, would need to understand what implications, if any, it had for their use. Water authorities are confident that supplies are still safe. We do have the state-of-the-art technology um, within the treatment process that means it doesn't get through. The researchers are preparing a final report for the federal government that will also contain plenty of useful information for farmers and miners. Marlena Woff, ABC News, Rockhampton.